was five to 10 pounds in three days. No lie, keep watching. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer for the ones who don't already know me If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button pretty pretty please Join me for more weight loss tips and tricks. This was a very very requested video from my last how to lose weight video It will be up here if you're interested. Okay, and let's get straight into how in the world Jennifer How in the world am I gonna lose five to ten pounds in three days? That don't even make sense. Are you sure? Yes <laughs> I am sure I am positive I've done this before so that's the only reason why I'm on here telling you guys this is possible you can lose five to ten pounds in three days like I did it's pretty easy it's super easy the way to lose five to ten pounds in three days is egg fast egg fast what the heck yes an egg fast an egg fast is a short-term restrictive ketogenic diet that includes mainly eggs, cheese, butter, or whatever type of fat you want to include in your egg fast. Purpose of this egg fast is to help you break out of plateau. These are discouraging points in weight loss plan where your fat loss thaws. Meaning, this is where when you step on a scale and you've been the same number for days or weeks or months and this is what you do to get it to move down okay so how does the egg fast work so a typical egg fast lasts between three to five days some people go as far as seven days honestly i only did three days and i lost 10 pounds all you eat for breakfast lunch dinner is egg honey yes egg what are the rules? I'm gonna tell you. Number one is eat a minimum of six eggs per day. Number two, one tablespoon of healthy fat, butter, mayo, mayonnaise, whatever it's called, olive oil, avocado oil, whatever. Make sure that you have the one tablespoon of fat in there. When I say one tablespoon, I mean per egg. So if you have three eggs, that's three tablespoons of butter in your egg or oil in your eggs. Okay, number three is enjoy three ounces of cheese. Oh my God, this was my favorite part. I swear, like the cheese was the only thing getting me through the egg fast. When I tell you cheese was my best friend, well, one of my best friends throughout this, but cheese was really one of my best friends throughout this whole egg fasting. Number four is within 30 minutes of waking up, you have to make sure you eat. Do not wait whatsoever. Don't wait. It's after waking up. You wait yourself and then your breakfast. Don't, do not wait. Five is eat an egg every three to four hours. So if you had breakfast, three, four hours later, have lunch. Three, four hours later, have dinner. You know, three to four hours in between each meal. Six is stop eating three hours before your bedtime. We all know that food digests differently when you're asleep, it's not the same. That's why they say don't eat before bed. It is bad for you, I said it. Number seven is add salt to your eggs because you need electrolytes. Electrolytes is so important is important throughout this egg fast. Number eight is condiments and spices. It's 100% okay to add. Go ahead, I did it. Cause the egg, the taste, spices was like the only thing getting me through it too. So hot sauce, pepper, hot sauce was really, hot sauce was, was my best friend too. Like. It was just getting me through it because hot sauce just adds a different like taste to everything and if you don't like hot sauce you're missing out number nine is drink six to eight glasses of water every day number ten this is a good one i didn't do it personally but who can drink diet soda on this egg fast but it's a minimum of three that's it and number eleven oh I will honestly say, listen to your body. Um, I know I only did three days, but there's people that do five days, seven days, 
but you have to listen to your body. Whenever you feel like stopping and your body's telling you to stop doing something, you need to listen because that's important. Here are some examples of what your three to five days should look like. An egg cheese omelet with two to three eggs and cheese. So, and then the healthy fat will be butter. If you like butter on your eggs, add butter to the pan and then add the, the eggs with the cheese. Just make it into an omelet. However you make your omelet, make it just like that, okay? The snack. The snack could be a stick of cheese string. Any type of cheese you want. For lunch, you can have two to three deviled eggs. For snack, you can have two ounces of cheese of your choice. And then for dinner, you can have however you want to make your eggs boil, fry. Make your eggs however you want, okay? Make sure you have a source of fat and cheese each meal. Throughout the egg fast, Pinterest was really a good friend to me. Pinterest has a lot of different recipes for eggs that you can make. And I will be giving you guys some recipes and a link to the website that I use to get my recipes from. The link will be down below, so make sure you guys click on it. Here are the four things that help me get through this three-day egg fast. Number one is hot sauce. Hot sauce was literally like my best friend through this. It just made the eggs taste different, just so much better, especially that second and third day where I was like tired, fed up with eggs. Number two is the no calories, no sugar syrup. You can put this on your eggs and it tastes just like maple syrup. So, so good. You guys really need to try it. And I will be listing down below everything that I'm talking about in the description box. So make sure you guys look out for that. The third one is Splenda. Splenda is really good, especially with your coffee in the morning with half and half. I use that as a creamer, of course, but yeah. Here are some delicious I want to say delicious, but delicious <laughs> egg fast recipes you can make while you're on your three day, five day. We'll link the website where I got these recipes off from down in the description box like I just told you guys. So yeah, that's where they are. Okay, so the number one is fettuccine alfredo. Third one is, is an egg garlic bread. Fourth one is a cheese waffle. It's a fox ganache, or however you say it. The sixth one is a cheese enchilada. Seventh one is deviled eggs. The eighth one is a cheese and egg casserole. Ninth is homemade egg noodles. The snickerdoodle creepers. So, that is everything I wanted to really talk about. I hope you guys like this video and I hope you guys try this egg fest because honestly, I lost the weight and I kept it off. It wasn't like I gained everything back up. No, I kept those 10 pounds off. I think it's a really good diet you can do, especially like if you had a bad for a long weekend or you had a week where you ate McDonald's every day, this would be perfect. And that's everything I wanted to say. If you guys like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below. Let me know what you think about this video and let me know if you're gonna be trying it. If you did it, please comment down your results and let me know how much weight you lost because that's what we're here for, okay? We're here to lose weight and look good and feel good and be healthy. Like, comment, subscribe. Please make sure to turn on your post notification bell for more tips and tricks on how to lose weight. Bye guys.